You're gonna do some talking. Hello. I'm Mark Gagliardi. I'm Mark Gagliardi. And today we're gonna talk about... Oh, is this really that part of the thing? Yeah, now you're woken up. Here he comes. This is how television works, bitches. Ready? Which camera? Action. Hi, I'm Mark Gagliardi. Today we're gonna talk about Bass Reeves. <laughs> <laughs> Bass Reeves is born as a slave. One night, Bass Reeves and his master get in an argument over a poker game. Bass Reeves punches his owner in the face. And Bass Reeves thinks to himself, oh shit, you guys, I just cold cocked my boss. Listen, let's be honest, my owner, this is probably not gonna be good for me. So Bass Reeves, hightails it to the Indian territories of Oklahoma. So Bass Reeves winds up living among the Seminole Nation, learning the language of all of these indigenous peoples and trained in the ways of Native American tracking and hunting. Hmm, awesome. Oh, I appreciate you, Derek. I love you. I love you. You Listen, I'm, we're gonna make a baby. Um, <laughs> I may be aimed down at the ground for the whole of this, but don't worry about that. In 1875, the U.S. is changing, taming the Wild West and all that kind of shit. U.S. Marshal James Fagan knew that this was dangerous work. He needed the guy that full-on dances with wolves in that area. <laughs> so Fagan goes to Reeves. Hey, I have 75,000 square miles to cover to bring bad guys to justice. And Bass Reeves said, listen, I'm ambidextrous. I can shoot a gun with both hands. I'm six foot two and 390 pounds. I'm gonna be the guy that keeps you safe. The only thing I can say to you is, I'm gonna take a, take a nap, F you. There he goes on the floor. Derek, mm -hmm. take my hand. I got you. All right. So, so Bass Reeves is working as a U.S. Marshal, picking up bad guys. So one of the bad guy things that he does is he dresses himself up as an old beggar at the homestead of a couple of bad guys' mother. He says. I'm just a poor old beggar. I just need a place to stay for the night. So she gives Bass Reeves a place to spend the night. As soon as the two outlaws fell asleep, Bass Reeves pulled down his shawl, grabbed his six shooter. He says, the Bass Re Hold on. I'm gonna corner their dumb asses while they're sleeping. I'll sleep, you. I will sleep clack you into my handcuffs, bitches, and I'm gonna grab you, I'm gonna grab you, hold on, I'm gonna drag your asses in jail where I gathered up all the criminals. That's pretty badass. Listen, motherfucker, I'll tell you this whole story. Hold on. <laughs> this is how big a badass Bass Reeves is. The Brunter brothers, another group of outlaws, ambushed him at gunpoint. Bass Reeves kept his cool, turned to the first Brunter brother and said, I'm sorry, do you know what the date is today? And as that brother was trying to figure out the date for the day, Bass Reeves shoots the first two brothers and then cold cocks the other brother and carry them back to the court at Fort Lewis. They're like, you know what? F you, Bass Reeves. F you and you knowing what's right and wrong. You honest, honest Jack Reeves. F you, Bass Reeves, and you're wanting to give the honesty to the people. Mark, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I'm gonna kiss you on your lips, Derek Waters. No. I'm gonna kiss you on your lips. I just want to hold your face. Will you finish the story if I do? I promise I will. Promise. I... No slapping. I'm not gonna slap you, Derek. What are you gonna do? Derek. 
That was very nice. I'm going to take a nap now. No, nope, you promised nope, I'm you gonna could touch my face. And I'll touch your face. Your story. I'm going to finish it. Hold on. So uh, one night, Bass Reeves is chasing after a dude, Jim Webb. He'd killed a ton of dudes. And Bass Reeves, pew, 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 shot down this dude. And this guy's laying there on the ground, looks up at Bass Reeves, and he says, Bass, this bullet that is designed for you, no, nah, man. I want this bullet to be designed for people that f you up. That guy, Jim Webb, gave that gun to Bass Reeves because he respects him. Dear. Tell the story. I love you. I love you. Bass Reeves threw more men in jail than any other marshal in US history. 3,000 men. And when he died, his funeral was attended by hundreds of people. White, black, Native American, and whatever the other thing was that they had. And they all went to pay their respects to this, the most important man of the wild frontier. You know what? Reeves was the inspiration for the Lone Ranger. How come more people don't know that Bass Reeves is it who inspire the Lone Ranger? Because he's black. That's sad. Yeah. Well, we're changing history now. I love you.